Oh, go for it. Thanks for calling me a young man. <laughs> it's really cool to be here, being hanging out with, with Ted. It really is quite cool. Um, the good life. Those three words probably mean a whole lot of different things to a whole lot of different people. I have my own personal factors for what the good life means to me and my family. And one of those things is bicycles, or rather people on bicycles. A symphony of human power movement across the cityscape. It's a large part of what I do, promoting urban cycling uh, in cities around the world. Now, this is the age of, of, of lists, of measuring, of ratings and indexes. And it's interesting to see how we try to determine where the good life is being lived. Not long ago, it was done with simple lists of world's richest countries, world's poorest countries, richest cities, uh, poorest cities. Um, as though money was the key factor in determining quality of life. Now things are much different, as we all know. Now we have stuff like the World's Happiest Nation Survey, which continues to baffle and confuse the Danish people year after year by placing them at number one. I still don't get it. Um, a lifestyle magazine, Monocle, has developed a world's most livable cities index a few years ago using a, an interesting combination of statistical parameters and personal taste. And this is the... Uh, not working. Gentlemen. The list of the world's top 20 <laughs> livable cities for 2010. <clears throat> now, I'm completely biased when I say that any livable city worth its salt will feature bicycles, great numbers of bicycles on the urban landscape. And if you look at these cities, you're looking at, yeah, there you go. Um, it's interesting to note that, that 12 of these cities, including the top eight, all have respectable levels of bicycle traffic, of citizen cyclists on their bike lanes and streets. Most of the rest of the cities are trying. They're doing what they can to reestablish the bicyclist transport as it used to be in cities and towns all around the world. I didn't actually press that. <laughs> um, but this is really is a modern catchphrase, this livable cities. It's as though we're trying to redefine <clears throat> what our cities should be like and try to return to how they used to be and, in most cases, were meant to be. One thing's for sure, 